Hi guys, welcome back to Eureka Math Time. Okay, I'm so excited because today we are doing lesson 20. And in today's lesson, you are going to need a paper and a pencil. So I want you to go ahead and put pause on the video and go get your, pe your paper and your pencil. When you are ready, go ahead and press play. Okay, let's look at our learning goal for today. What are we gonna do today? Okay, here we go. It says, I can break apart teen numbers in different ways. So we have been learning a lot about our teen numbers, right? We know how to write them, we know how to show them. We did, um, we took away last time and we added, right? To our teen numbers to make it a bigger number. Today, we're going to break it apart. And there's this very special picture that we always use in class and we used our hula hoops to show it on the floor. Do you remember what we did? What is that called? What we did the three with the three little circles that connect. <gasps> yes, I heard some of you say it. It's called a number bond. What is it called? Yes, a number bond. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to draw your number bond. So mine are, cir are, are squares, but I want you to draw yours in circles, whatever is easier for you. So first I want you to draw your number bond. Go ahead and put pause on the video and draw your number bond. Ready, pencils up and do it now. Okay, now that you finish writing your, drawing your number bond, I want you to look at my number bond. What do you see? Think big, what do you see? Okay. Yes, I heard a lot of you say, I see red beans, I see white beans. Okay, so let's look at our red beans. I want you to think big. How many red beans do I have? Think, get ready. Yes, 10. So I want you to go ahead and draw 10 red beans. Pencils up, do it now. Make sure that you're writing your, you're drawing your 10 red beans on part of the number one, on this part. Okay. And I want you to think, now that you already drew your 10 beans, let's go and look at our next part of our number one. I want you to think, how many white beans? Get ready. Yes, three. Whoa, pencils up. Go ahead and draw your three white beans. Do it now. Okay, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Now that we have our beans, I want you to think big. If I were to push my red beans together and my white beans together, how many beans will I have all together? I want you to say the number, the say 10 way. What number is that? If I push them together. So if I push them together, what number would that be? Think. Get ready. Yes. So it would be 10, 3 or 13, right? So I have 10, 1, 10, 2. 10, 3, right? And I have 13. Whoa, give your brain three kisses because it worked really hard. Mm, 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 and freeze. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to draw your beans on your paper. Pencils up. Go ahead and draw all your beans all together in the hole. Do it now. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video so you can finish drawing your picture and press play when you're done. Okay, so now that we have all our beans on our number one, I want you to think. How can we show our number one a different way? So 
I know that I can use numbers inside my number bond, but what else does Ms. Villarreal used to do in class or your teacher? What would your teacher do on the side of your number bond? What would we write? Think. Yes. A number sentence. Whoa, you guys are so, so, so smart. Okay, so I want to show my two parts in a different way. So I know that addition is another way we can do that, right? So let's look at our number sentence. So I know that I have, I know that I had 10 red beans and three white beans. If I push them together, what number can I write on my number sentence? What number can I write? Think. Get ready. Yes. 10, 3, or 13. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and write your number sentence starting with 10. Okay, I want you to write this number sentence. Go ahead and pencils up. Do it now. Okay, go ahead and press pause so that you can finish writing your number sentence. When you're done, press play. Okay, so now what I want you to do is, I want you to tell me what number goes in our whole. So 10 plus three equals, think. What did you write? Get ready. Yes, 13. Whoa, you guys are so smart. Whoa, 10, 3, or 13. Okay, so now I want to write it a different way. Let's write our number sentence starting with 13. Remember, we need to use the same numbers, the same numbers in our number bond. So we have our whole, we know that we, that we have 13 beans all together. What numbers go in our parts? Think. How many red beans? Think. Get ready. Yes. 10. And how many white beans? How many white beans? Think. Think. Get ready. Yes. Three. Whoa. Let's say our number sentence together. Ready? Starting with 13. Get ready. 13 equals 10 plus 3. Again, 13 equals 10 plus 3. Three. Good job, guys. I want you to go ahead and pencils up. Go ahead and write your number sentence on your paper, starting with 13. Do it now. Okay, now that you are done writing your number sentence, I want you to go ahead and practice, re practice reading your number sentence. Okay, let's Go ahead and let's do another number bond. Okay, so here we go. On the next part of your paper, I want you to draw another number bond. Go ahead and draw your number bond. Pencils up. Do it now. Okay. I want you to show 10 red beans and listen to how many white beans. And I want you to draw five white beans. Okay, so 10 red beans and five white beans. Pencils up. Do it now. Okay, now that you are done writing and drawing your beans, I want you to think. If we were to push them together, if I were to push my red beans and my white beans together, how many beans would we have all together? How many? Think. Think big. Get ready. Yes. Ten. Five. Good job. How do you say it the regular way? Think. Get ready. Yes. Fifteen. Okay. So I know that I have, oh, 
there is 15. So there we have our 10, 5, right? 10, 5. Go ahead and pencils up. Go ahead and draw your beans. Do it now. Okay, go ahead and pause the video if you need more time, okay? Whoa, you just drew 10, 5. Good job, guys. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to show it a different way. Remember how we did it last time? Okay, so what did we do to show our two parts and the total a different way? Yes, we did a number sentence. Ooh, I love number sentences because I love writing my teen numbers. Okay, so remember, our goal is to break it apart, break our teen number apart, and we just showed it with a number bond. So let's go ahead and I want you to write your number sentence. Write your number sentence showing the two parts, okay? I want to see how you do it first and then we can do it together, okay? Ready? Pencils up. And write your number sentence showing your two parts and the total. So starting with 10, think, get ready. Okay. So you should have already written your number sentence. If we're going too fast for you, it's okay. Pause the video and write your number sentence. Okay, so now that you already wrote your number sentence, starting with your parts, starting with 10, who can tell me their number sentence? Okay, tell me your number sentence starting with 10. Get ready. Yes, good job. Whoa, does yours look like mine? Yes, ooh, oh my goodness, say I rock. Good job, guys. Okay, yeah, so let's read our number sentence. So I know that I have 10 red beans, five white beans, and if we put them together, we have 10, five. Okay, let's read our number sentence. Ready? Read it with me. Get ready. 10 plus 5 equals 15. Yeah, good job. Or 10 plus 5 equals 10, 5. Good job, guys. Whoa, you guys are so smart. Let's keep working and let's do our next problem. Okay. So this time, I want you to go ahead and write your, draw your number bond. Pencils up. Do it now. Don't forget. Don't forget to make your lines connecting your number bond. Okay, go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. And we are going to continue. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our numbers. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the number. I want you to write 19 in your whole just like mine. So write 19 or 10, 9, right? Pencils up. Do it now. Okay. You should be writing 10, 9. I'm going to give you four more seconds. Okay, and park your pencil. Okay, so now you have 10, 9. How can we break it apart to show our two parts? So I want to figure out our two parts. Hmm. Okay, I think we can use our beans, right, to show our two parts. Okay, so what can we show on our first part? How many beans can we show in our first part? What does the one tell us? What does the one tell us in our number? Think, get ready. Yes. So we are going to show the two parts and we know that the one tells us that there are 10 red beans. Okay, so I have my 10 red beans, right? Because the one tells us 10. So go ahead and pencils up and write or draw your 10 beans. Do it now. 
Make sure that you're counting your beans carefully and that you're drawing them nice and beautiful. Okay, guys, go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. And let's go ahead and let's do our next part. What's our next part? Think. Get ready. Yeah. Nine. Whoa. Good job, guys. So let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. We counted the beans that we needed for our other part, right? So ten, one, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four. 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, and 10, 9. Whoa, does that match our whole? Yes, we did. Whoa, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and draw your white beans. Pencils up, do it now. Good job, guys. I should hear you counting. 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, all the way to 10, 9. Okay, so now that you have your white beans, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. So now that we have our beans, let's do our number sentence. Whoa, okay. So I want to do my number sentence for 9, for 10, 9. Let's go ahead and I want you to write your number sentence for this number one. Go ahead and I want you to write it starting with your parts. So starting with the red beans. How many red beans? Think. Get ready. Yeah, 10. Okay, so I want you to write your number one starting with 10. Pencils up. Do it now. So I should... See you writing your number bond. Remember your parts. So you have 10 red. How many white? And how many do you have all together? Think. Okay. Go ahead and park your pencil. If you need more time, pause the video. Let's do it together. So I want you to tell me and read me your number sentence, okay? I want to listen to your number sentence. Ready? Go ahead and say your number sentence. Get ready. Whoa, okay, does your number sentence look like mine? <gasps> Whoa, let's read it together, okay? Get ready, 10 plus nine equals 19. <gasps> Good job, guys. How did you know that 10 went first? Yeah, because we have 10 red beans. And what about our nine? What does our nine tell us? Yeah, that we have nine white beans. And what does the 19 tell us? Yeah, how many we have all together? Good job, guys. Whoa, you guys are so smart. Let's do a firecracker. Ready? And turn on your firecracker. And freeze. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead. And it's time to start with the total. So now I want you to write your number sentence a different way. And so now this time you're going to write your number sentence starting with 19. Uh-oh. Okay, pencils up. Go ahead and write your number sentence starting with 19. Do it now. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. Okay, so here is my number sentence. Does yours look like mine? Good job, guys. You guys are so smart. Okay, so I have 19 all together. And if I break it apart, remember that's our goal. We want to break it apart. We have 10 and 9. Do you see that? 10 and 9. 10 red beans and 9 white beans. Whoa. Do you see how they're they're the same? Yeah. So that we have the same numbers. Okay, so let's read our number sentence starting with 19. Get ready. 19 equals 10 plus 9. 
go ahead and pencils up and fix your number sentence if it does not look like mine or yours can also be 19 equals 9 and 10 right because the parts are 10 and 9 or 9 and 10 good job guys okay so now let's show our number bond for 16 go ahead and write draw your number bond do it pencils up do it now Okay, park your pencil. Now, let's go ahead and I want you to write 16 in the whole. So we know that we have 16 all together. How can we say 16? Let's say 10 way. Think. Get ready. Yes, 10, 6. So what are our parts? Think. Get ready. Yes, 10, 6. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to draw your parts. Pencils up. Do it now. Go ahead and pause the video and finish writing and drawing your parts. When you're done, we can do it together. Okay, so now that you've finished already writing and drawing your parts, let's do it together. So I know that one tells me how many does, what does the one tell me? Think. Get ready. Yeah, 10. So I have my 10 red beans. Okay, let's count our next beans, right? Let's count our, our next set of beans until we get to 10, 6. Okay, ready? 10, 1. 10, 2. 10, 3. 10, 4. 10, 5. Am I done? No. Okay. Ten, six. Am I done now? <gasps> Good job, guys. Thank you for helping me. So I have ten, six. Just like our total. Ten, six. How do we say ten, six the regular way? Think. Get ready. Yes. Sixteen. Good job, guys. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to write your number sentence for sixteen. Okay, and I want you to write your number sentence starting with how many we have all together. So all together. I want you to think. Pencils up. Do it now. Okay, guys. Go ahead and pause the video if you are not done. Okay, so your number sentence should look like mine. Whoa. Okay, so I have 16 all together and what are my parts yeah 10 6 let's read our number sentence ready get ready 16 equals 10 plus 6 <gasps> whoa give your brain three kisses mm, mm, mm. throw confetti make it rain okay good job guys okay so we're going to do our last number bond for today and I want you to go ahead and do it on your own. Put pause on the video. And then when you're done, we can come back and do it together. So I want to see your number bond. And I want you to write 14 in the whole, in the total. And don't forget to write your number sentence, okay? Write your number sentence and write it both ways, okay? Do it now. Okay, now that you already completed your number bond and your number sentence, let's go ahead and let's do it together. Okay, so who can tell me what my first group is? Think, what's my first group? Think, get ready. Yes, 10. So I am going to draw 10 red beans. Does yours look like mine? Thumbs up. Okay, now, Let's see what my next group, who can tell me what my next group is? Think, get ready. Yeah, four. How did you know that it was four? Okay, so a lot of you said that if you look at the whole, right, you have 10, four. So if you break it up, you have 10, four. Okay, let's
let's count all the way to 10, 4 to see if it really is 4, four beans. Okay, ready? So 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, and 10, 4. <gasps> let's count the beans. 1, 2, 3, 4. So is it 4? Yes. Okay, so now let's do our number sentence. Now that we have our number bond, let's match our number sentence. So I want to do my number sentence starting with 14 or 10, 4, right? Okay, so my number sentence is going to start with 14. So I have 14 and I broke it up into 10, 4. So 10 equal, I'm sorry, 14 equals 10, 4. Listen again. 14 equals 10 and 4. Or 10 plus 4, right? So I have 14 and I broke it up. Do you see how my number sentence looks like my number bond? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, let's say let's read our number sentence. Ready? Starting with 14. Get ready. 14 equals 10 plus 4. Good job talking big. Whoa. Does yours look like mine? Yeah, and yours looks even better than mine because you wrote your number sentence the other way, right? What would be a different way to write it? Yeah, starting with our groups, right? So 10 plus 4 equals 14. Okay, guys, now what I want you to do is I want you to get your workbook. And our workbook for today looks like this. It should say lesson 20. And it says, fill in the number bond and write a number sentence to match it. Okay, so here is our first number bond. Here's the example. So they gave us 13, right? And we had to break it up. So we broke it up into parts. So 10 and 3. Now we have to write our number sentence, right? So 13 equals 10 and 3, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and finish your num your problem set. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.